Hello, I'm Dr. Mitchell Grayson, Professor and Chief of the Division of Allergy and Immunology, Department of Pediatrics at Nationwide Children's Hospital and The Ohio State University, a Fellow of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, and a board-certified allergist. You go outside and your car is covered in yellow powder. What is that stuff? Why, it is pollen. But what is pollen? And what are mold spores? Well, pollen and mold spores are part of the way that plants and fungi procreate, that is, make new plants and fungi. Let's talk about pollen first. Pollen is produced by the male part of a plant and provides a way for the plant to transfer genetic material. This powdery substance can be released into the air or carried by insects to another plant, where it is deposited on the female part of the plant. This leads to the fertilization of the plant and development of a seed, usually which allows for a new plant to develop that contains genetic material from both of the parent plants. Pretty flowers, like roses, have heavy pollen grains, and they are transferred from plant to plant by insects and bees. Because their pollen is not light and doesn't become airborne, people really do not develop allergies against pretty flowering plants. Trees, grasses, and weeds, however, depend upon the air to carry their pollen grains from plant to plant. Because the pollen is airborne, you can inhale it and develop allergies against it. People who are allergic to pollen have symptoms when the specific pollen that they are allergic to is in the air. In general, in the spring for trees and grass, and in the fall for weeds. So what are mold spores? Well, in many ways, they are the seeds of fungi, mold and mildew. The spores are released by molds at different times of the year, and they can be carried in the air in a way similar to tree or grass pollen. When a mold spore encounters the proper environment, usually moist and warm, it germinates and develops into a new mold plant. If a person inhales mold spores, they can develop an allergic reaction against the mold spore, although not all mold spores have been found to cause allergies. So in many ways, this is similar to what happens with pollen. Unlike pollen allergies, molds have varying seasons. Some molds release their spores in dry weather, while others release their spores when it is humid. And of course, as anyone who has had water in their basement knows, some molds thrive indoors. Therefore, while mold allergy tends to be more common in the fall, it can occur any time throughout the year. So now you know what pollen and mold spores are. They are part of the way plants and fungi proliferate and make new plants, as well as why you may develop a reaction when exposed to them. Most people who are allergic to pollen or mold develop diseases like allergic rhinitis, conjunctivitis, asthma, or even urticaria. Other videos in this series discuss these allergic diseases, and I encourage you to watch them. Your local allergist is trained in diagnosing and treating allergic diseases and asthma. He or she has the expertise and the know-how to make your allergy symptoms much less of a burden and can provide advice on the appropriate therapies to treat your allergies. Remember, there is no reason to suffer from allergies. Go see an allergist today.